guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Unboxing, and I know a lot of you are going to be really excited, but not half as much as me. So, let's get this puppy open. So, I've been doing a lot of music stuff on my channel, I know, and there's a lot more to come, but also the RC stuff is going to start coming in more and more as well. I'm working on things. So we've got a, one of those weird funky adapters. And I actually paid the extra shipping on this to get it here quicker. And man, I gotta tell you, when you start paying for the extra shipping, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes a little too much money for my blood, but this was definitely worth it, I think. And uh, I do have another RC on its way here too, but it's gonna take a while because and I could only afford to pay for the shipping for this one, but this is the one I wanted first anyhow. So we've got the JJ Pro X1 Shuttle. Yes, brushless power. My first brushless quadcopter. This ought to scare the living crap out of me. I've seen this thing on YouTube enough to get a pretty good idea that uh, yeah, it's pretty fast. And uh, I like fast anyway, so that's always a good thing. Speed doesn't hurt. That's the way I drive my car. So, oh, that's neat packaging. There we go. So, we've got our cool little quad here. Wow, that's got a little bit of weight to it. Oh, the battery's inside it, that's why. Not bad. That's kind of cool. Oh, brushless. Oh, and hey, this has already got, uh, well, it's got little, uh, the lights should work pretty bright on this, I think. It's got little caps. I never saw that in any of the pictures. They must have made some changes. So, uh, not too shabby. That looks pretty cool. All right, put that aside. Let's see what else we get. Ah, uh, prop tool, spare props. I think I have some spare props, actually, that I got from my buddy Jack that might work with this. I don't know. Let's see. Landing gear and a screwdriver. Yeah, there's landing gear in there. Should be. Yep, there's landing gear in here, screwdriver, and prop guards. I will be using the prop guards for the first little while because, hey, it is brushless. It's something new to me. So uh, I don't want to blow the sucker up too quick. Anyways, yes, definitely a European charger. And... Uh, Nah, I got hobby grade chargers anyways. Oh, that was interesting. Mm, oh, the stick just pushes in. Something to be mindful of. The sticks just push in. So I guess if you break them, you can get spares, I guess? I don't know. I think I might have to crazy glue those in place. And yeah, maybe. Okay, so, little instructions. Tells you uh, what things apparently are for. Oh, God, that's going to be annoying. Okay. I will be doing a review on this, just not today. My first impression, though, not impressed with the sticks. Okay. Okay, so, speed shifter. 3D flips and rolls, apparently. Of course, nobody on YouTube has managed to get this thing to flip and roll yet. Um, they don't actually tell you what this switch is for, um, or this one. I guess we'll play the guessing game. Aileron fine-tuning, idle speed adjustment, that apparently will come in handy. Left and right fine-tuning, and forward and backward fine-tuning. Okay. Pretty sick. Hmm. Uses four batteries. And no locking battery cover, which is no big deal. And this is to, uh, these buttons are not even buttons. They're fake outs. So I guess in the actual camera version, those would be, like, for real. Uh, but in this version, it doesn't look like it. And, of course, you get a little lanyard thing there. Well, the radio kind of, uh, it's interesting. Um, like I said, not really too impressed with those sticks, though. That's, uh, I'm going to actually crazy glue those in because I don't need them falling out in the middle trying to fly or, you know, getting caught on something or whatever. 
So those are going to have to get glued in place. But we got to make sure everything works perfect first, you know. So we've got a manual. Six access gyro drone. Ah, then we have the Chinese instructions with English translation. And, ah, this uh, switch we were wondering about is called extended. Video and photo switch. Uh, this actually is 3D inversion. It should actually flip, apparently. So we'll have to find out if that actually works. Like I said, nobody on YouTube that I've seen has managed to get this thing to flip. Because they're all like, it says it's supposed to flip. Uh, elevator trim on off, aileron trim, idle trim. Yeah, okay, so there's your basics. Um, parts list, of course. Not a whole lot of parts to this sucker. <coughs> do, 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 do. I was actually looking at the carbon fiber version too, which I'm thinking about. I'm going to get that too this year. Um, we'll see how this one does first, though. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, neat little machine. I want to take a quick look at these landing skates. I've got things here. A bag full of screws. Okay, so the landing gear. Um, they just kind of like pop on somehow. I've seen this. I've seen these set up already before. Just a matter of getting them to fit in the right way, I guess. Um, let's... So yeah, the longer fork side to the front. So this is the front, longer fork side to the front. Okay, so that goes like that. This should go like so. And then we're going to have to put a couple screws in there. However, fake GPS thingy. Everybody likes that, eh? Wow. That's... This is going to be so different, guys. So, so different for me. And the size is pretty decent. A lot of people are considering this like a sport quad or a sport racer quad. Uh, which is actually... I, I kind of agree with it. It's a pretty fast little bugger from what I've been seeing. And that just pops on. So yeah, we'll screw those together later and have some fun. It's raining outside. It's getting to be dark out too anyways. Uh, so no flying footage today for you guys. At least we got to take care of the unboxing. And uh, let's... Mm, we got to try and get this damn battery out of here. Without hurting anything. Oh, there we go. Mm, they should have tucked the wires underneath the chassis. That would have been better. Anyways. Oh, I guess they are kind of... Yeah, they are actually underneath the chassis a bit. Lock that up. And what do we get? 1300 milliamp LiPo. Hmm, that's actually the identical battery to my JJR CH26, except this has the red JST. It's got a black one that's different. Uh, and I did order a spare battery that's actually on its way in the snail mail as well. And uh, if this quad works out, I'll definitely be buying a bunch of extra batteries for it. And uh, of course, blades and other things I'm gonna need as I go along, but we shall see. So uh, stay tuned to the channel, guys. First nice chance we get. Hopefully this weekend would be great. Uh, we'll definitely, uh, be doing a flying video, and, um, I may or may not get ballsy on the first time, but if I know myself, I'll probably get ballsy. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more, and more RC stuff, like I said, is coming in the mail. So, stay tuned. Ciao.